Hyundai. Well, this is the new beast for this weekend. It's really windy. I know you can't hear me that well, but uh, got this from a friend up in Avoca. One heck of a beast. They beat on it a little bit. Basically, what happened the transmission was uh, slipping, so uh, they need to uh, change that up. Uh, change their car up, not change the transmission. So, uh, yeah, they got a van and uh, they gave me this thing. Not bad. The only thing is, uh, since this uh, can't get the dang thing running, but uh, because, uh, well, there's no real point. But uh, I figured I'll uh, show you this little thing I learned about the ignition. Because uh, basically they lost the key. And uh, this was actually already tore up, but to put it in a neutral, a little quieter in, quieter in here. To put it into neutral, I needed to, well, since I didn't want to bust that whole thing off, uh, you take these plastic covers off. The um, they they come off quite easily, just two screws. And then this lovely oh, let's focus on here. This lovely little thing is right in here, like that. And how uh, these these wires are obviously all connected to it, but for the sake of uh, my educational pur pur purposes, uh, all I need to do is take one screw out of the side here, which you can see right there. I took that out from this hole. This whole thing popped out, and uh, you to put a. Uh, oh, I'm gonna put the camera down. I take it here. I know you've seen this done a hundred thousand times before, but just put it, put your uh, screwdriver in there and turn the ignition. And uh, since I took it off, just to figure out what wires had to be, had did what, just in case, you know, I ever felt like hot wiring a car, uh, reminding you uh, the uh, steering wheel doesn't come loose when you do this, so you'd have to only go straight. So these are the positive and negative wires here. I just twisted those two together. And this green one, you see here, when I touch it, it's like I'm igniting, starting the car. I'm sure you could probably hear that. I'll do it again. Something's wrong with the car, so it's uh, that's what I was told. So that's why they're kind of getting rid of it. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, just touch that to boom and. And I don't want to get shocked, so I'm going to stop there. So I'm going to do the usual, take out the fuses, take out the airbag, and, uh, hey. <laughs> That's cool. It still works. And I'm going to keep the battery, because it's my own for my van. Cool. Alright. Well, everything's been uh, pillaged out of this racer. And, uh, wicked uh, stripes on there, eh? Not bad. But, uh, yeah, it's time to go to the scrapyard. I got the rad out, got the alternator out, and then I got, well, what I thought was going to be an airbag. Uh, turned out it was just the horn. Uh, I wasted my time there. I should read things. I really don't. Uh, I also have this uh, old, crappy, garbage uh, deep fryer. It's all stainless steel. So uh, I'm going to presume uh, stainless steel is still at 60 cents a pound, maximum heat. Uh, yeah, but I don't really know. We'll see what they give me for it. Got the, some, the three rads there and this old other shitty table thing of a stainless steel thing. Yeah, I am filthy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go make myself a sandwich. And then we're going to go. Sound good? Alright. Well, I have good news and bad news. And I'll start with the bad news. Because it's always good to end on a good note. So, uh, I ended up getting... A hundred and... Let's see. 168 bucks. There she is in all her fancy, dancy colors. But, uh... Yeah. So, I, I got that. And that's not bad. But... I would have got a hell of a lot more... The unfortunate part was he, oh that guy's, sorry I got distracted, cooler scrap. Uh, basically, that big deep fryer that I was sure was stainless steel, 
uh, ended up needing to go to the mix pile because it had a motor in it or whatever the piping was and one side of it uh, was I think it's just normal metal but uh, tin or whatever so yeah next time I'll freaking cut it up if I have to because uh, I got 40 the crappy table and the little uh, coil I had from work ended up getting 45 pounds and that made 27 bucks that's not bad so all things considered I still got a hundred and whatever 168 bucks and I'm gonna have a good weekend because I also have a bunch of airbags which I didn't get to do last weekend so that's uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say this could be a good weekend I'll end by showing you the money <laughs> oh yeah